Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Steak and Sanity. It is day 104 of my carnivore diet adventure, and I have two things I want to talk to you about today. Um, number one is something that I talked about before, and you might notice that I actually have my ring hanging around my neck. That's because it's literally started falling off of my finger just when I'm walking around. I actually was in a, um, I was in a, a store called B and Q. It's like Home Depot. It's a just a hardware, big hardware store, and I was looking for some paint for a DIY project, and literally my wedding ring slipped off my finger and nearly rolled under one of the, one of the shelving units. So, um, I thought that it was about time that I needed to do something and, and not lose it. So I've had to take it off. I've got a silicone wedding ring that I'm wearing now until I can get it resized. But the interesting thing is, is that while my, I've, I've been good on the diet. I haven't been like 100% strict every day, but then I never have been pretty much from the beginning. And as people have let me know in the comments, but that's me and that's how I'm choosing to do it. But I am still losing. My average weight this month is a little bit down so far from last month, which is good. I know we're only halfway through the month, but I've not been into the 94 kilos at all this month. I've been in 93 the whole time, so that's progress. But I am still feeling some reshaping. I'm still going to the gym. I'm still doing my running. I'm still getting my exercise and all that sort of stuff. I... I'm still counting my calories and my steps and all that because I just feel that I need to and it makes me more comfortable when I do it. But I have pretty much, I'm not force feeding, I'm not trying to overeat and I'm just eating what I feel like I need to eat and I know I've said this before as well but I, I actually like eating lower fat meats and stuff during the day. And having my high fat meats either at breakfast, so like loads of bacon or even some mince or something like that with some eggs or at night when I get home at the end of the day, particularly after I've been to the gym or something like that, I really enjoy having a nice steak or or some minced beef or some ground beef or whatever. But during the day, I actually find that I prefer chicken and something lighter that doesn't kind of weigh me down during the afternoon. Not that I, I, I don't have the, the carb crash or anything like that. It's just, it's just what it feels right for me. It's what my body seems to want. And I seem to do better that way. And I seem to perform better in the gym if I'd had something a little bit lighter. So that's what I'm doing now. And that seems to be working. Again, I'm not really focused on it, but I am noticing like with my ring, it literally just was falling off. So something's happening and I think uh, I enjoy it. I feel fine. All of the arthritis symptoms and everything that I had before and the tendonitis are all still gone. I'm still getting great sleep at night. And yeah, so that's what's going on with that. So that was one thing that I just wanted to mention is, yeah, the, the fat is still coming off, but my body's redistributing the weight somehow. The second thing I wanted to talk about is, and I know I've mentioned this a couple of times in the videos, but I run a media company and that media company has a couple of podcasts that it runs. And one of them is one that I run myself and host called Creatives with AI. And it's about the impact that AI has on the, on the creative industries in particular. And I have another one that's Women with AI, which is hosted by a fantastic woman named Jo, and she does an amazing job. But doing that, I have obviously loads of conversations with people all the time. And I produce other podcasts and other shows as well. And I just started thinking that I know I started this this whole project to record videos every day and to make videos for people so that I could get better at making videos and I could get more comfortable in front of the camera. And it sort of has taken on a life of its own, talking about carnivore diet and documenting my journey. I'm now feeling, though, that the content, it, I've obviously slowed down. And again, I've talked about this as well, which is I don't feel like I have something to say every single day. 
And so I'm trying to wait until I actually have something interesting to say or something or something that I want to talk about so that it's more interesting for you if you're watching this. I mean, I want it to be interesting for you as well as for me. So what I think I want to do is I want to add some interviews in to my own sort of, you know, talking head content because I think it'd be much more interesting. And I follow a lot of other people on YouTube and I want to talk to some of those people. But really what I want is I want to find out from you who you would like me to talk to because that's really, that would be the most interesting thing. So I know I have a few people who watch regularly and I'm I'm over 400 followers now, which is amazing. And thank you to everybody who sort of subscribes to the channel so far. So I want to make content better. I have a short list of people that are some of the top people that I listen to, like Ken Berry, um, Ben Beckman, um, Anthony Chaff. And then there's a a guy called Vegetable Police, there's Steak and Butter Gal, there's Laura Spath, there's Meat and Marriage, Carnivore Couple, there's Big Man Alaska, who thank, thank you, you've been commenting lately as well. And I'd like to talk to all of those people and just sit and have a chat about carnivore diet, what their thoughts are, maybe get some questions answered for people. So if people have particular questions, um, but in the comments, what I'd like you to do is actually leave some names or some handles of people that you'd like me to talk to, because it makes it a lot nicer for me if I reach out to say, hey, I've got this channel, I've got a few subscribers, and they'd really like to hear from you. And then that makes it much nicer for me to reach out instead of just sort of a cold call saying, hey, can you talk to me? It's really nice if I can say, hey, I actually have subscribers who want to hear from you. So if you could do that, that would be amazing. I am going to start reaching out to some of these people already. I haven't recorded anything yet, so there's not nothing's coming imminently. But it is something that I think I would like to do, mainly because I want the channel to be more interesting, but also because I want to learn from them. So I'm 100 days into this now, and I'm kind of getting to that point where it's not really a struggle very much. Like I've kind of got into the routine of it and I, I know what I, I know what I'm going to eat. I know what I'm going to do. It's sometimes it's boring. And yeah, sometimes every once in a while, you know, my wife will say, Hey, have a taste this for me or have a bite of this and I'll have a bite of something, but I don't sit down and eat a sandwich or I don't sit down and eat a loaf of bread. I might have, you know, she made some guacamole. Hey, can you taste this guacamole for me? See how it is. I might have two bites of guacamole. That's not going to kill me. Um, and what's been really interesting is, is is that I do really try and gauge how I react. Anyway, the point is I want to learn more about the whole thing myself and I want to stay interested in the diet because I don't want to just get bored with the whole thing and just go, okay, yeah, all right, I kind of, this feels like normal and I'm, I don't feel like I'm, I don't know, challenged or anything and I don't know. So I just want it to be more interesting for me and for you. So leave some names in the comments, leave some handles if they're people on YouTube, um, give them a shout out, let me know who you want me to talk to, who you want me to reach out to, and um, and I'll start doing that. And then hopefully in the next, I don't know, a few weeks, I mean, if I reach out to someone and they say, well, yeah, we can we can have a chat whenever you want, then I can record it and then upload it same day almost. So, you know, I've, I've, my process is pretty good at this point. And I use a platform called Riverside, which is really easy to record and it should give us nice video out the back end and, and nice audio. So that's my plan. That's what I'm thinking of doing next. So leave me your thoughts. Let me know what you think about that. I, I had a, I had a little thought about turning this into a podcast as well, because actually I could go back and put all of my past recordings and everything's into an audio podcast format and then put it on things like Apple Podcasts and all that sort of stuff. But that sort of, it, it sort of defeats the purpose. So it's always going to be, this is going to be the lead content, sort of me doing this talking head sort of thing. Hopefully I'll have a better studio soon and I'll have a better place. And, you know, you might, 
you might see my environment change and I might move out of my bedroom and into somewhere else that's a little bit more fit for purpose. But I still want this to be the lead content. But I guess that's another question is, would you be interested or do you, you know, would would it be easier for you to listen or do you think I should just stick to YouTube? It's not really any extra work. It's just propagating the files out to the other platforms. But I, I don't know if that would actually go out to more people or would it actually dilute the people that are subscribers here in the audience that I have here. So I'd be interested again in the comments, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you think, yeah, actually, do you know what? If you if you put this out on a podcast, I'd be more likely to listen to it because then it's, you know, these are short. These are, you know, anywhere between, well, what's this one so far? This is 10 minutes so far. So I'm usually somewhere between five and, and 15 or 16 minutes. So it's really short, bite-sized content to listen to. So would that be interesting to have it as a podcast and to do it that way as well? Or do you prefer to just sort of keep it on YouTube? I don't know. You tell me. That's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm going to go enjoy the spring weather where it's getting a little bit warmer these days. And we were actually able to wear sort of T-shirts out this morning and went for a nice ride, took my wife and we went down to the beach and we had some breakfast right on the coast and um, we could see the ocean. It was amazing. And yeah, so feeling good, feeling positive, diet's going well. Fat's coming off. Arthritis is gone. What can I say? Diet's great. Love it. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good time and everybody's sticking to the diet and everybody's well. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or anything. So stay in touch for now. See you later. Bye-bye.